David Steinberg is a father of two, navigating the often confusing road of higher education. With his youngest graduating high school in June, college is at the top of his mind. As we went through a coaching process, it was extremely important to us that this all be above board. A process that a few of the country's wealthiest families have allegedly been manipulating, bribing officials and cheating tests to give their kids a boost. But you can't believe one after the other. Like many this parents, the, the National College level. Admission Scandal has Steinberg questioning the fairness of the admission process. When I started to read some of the things in the indictment, it was just depressing about how you can't cut corners in this process and apparently People tried. And this scandal has opened the door to more questions about ethically controversial practices that can make college admissions an uneven playing field. That the highest admit rates almost across the board at every college, the highest admit rates are going to be from that group of recruited athletes. It will shock anyone who sees it. Those students have such an edge in the admissions process. Many elite universities openly provide preferential treatment to children of alumni and accept donations from parents. But U.S. Senator Ron Wyden from Oregon hopes to curb that practice. This week's headline about the wealthiest Americans buying access to America's elite colleges and universities is just a new version of an old and tired story. Wednesday, he announced plans to introduce legislation that would end a tax break for donations made to colleges and universities before or during the enrollment of children of the donor's family. And I didn't... Steinberg says his daughter has put in the hard work and time finding the school that fits her best instead of focusing on name recognition. I hope she sees that the work she's put in is, is real and, and will pay off. Brittany Folkers, KGW News.